Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. And this video is about Luminar Neo. And um, there's an update out today. I'm going to show you the update, which is frankly incredibly impressive, considering that the Luminar team is based in Kyiv in the Ukraine. Now, I've had some emails from them, um, and I've had some other information, uh, and it looks like they're all safe. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm, I'm frankly uh, overjoyed, uh, and I kind of have goosebumps because I'm worried about these people. I mean, these are good people. Everybody deserves to be at peace, frankly. Uh, and this crazy war that's happening in their country is just um, unnecessary. Anyway, I have so many comments and questions and emails from people about, hey, have you heard from the Skylum team? Because I know they're based in Ukraine, you know, those sort of things. Uh, people are curious about what's happening. Um, I'm happy to say that, you know, based on the emails and the information I've been given, that they're doing okay. Uh, they're actually really doing fine. Um, um, I've personally contributed to a couple of different organizations in the Ukraine. I'll put a link down below to the Skylum blog um, if you haven't checked that out there. Uh, and if you're interested in doing so, they, uh, they have some recommended places where you can make donations to support them. But having said all that, I'm just... Honestly, I'm just thrilled that they are doing fine because, like I said, these are uh, good people. They deserve peace. And, and frankly, they're my friends. Um, I just want them to, to be doing well. So in spite of all the stuff that's going on, um, they have provided an update to Luminar Neo. It's a, um, it's, a, it's a beautiful surprise, and I know you appreciate it as much as I do. Um, it's unexpected. And I, I honestly didn't expect anything like this to happen for a while because, let's face it, they have much more important things to be uh, to be thinking about, the safety of their families and their friends. And um, anyway, it sounds like they're doing fine, and the company's uh, doing really well. So um, I just wanted to kind of give a preamble about that. I, I've had a lot of questions and comments, but um, I had an email even from someone over there this morning right before I started recording this video, and she said she's doing fine. So... Um, I, I'm just, I'm overjoyed, to be honest. Um, anyway, having said all that, as I said, surprisingly and amazingly and uh, all that, there's an update out for Luminar Neo. So if you have Luminar open, just click on that and click check for updates and you will uh, get a dialog box here that says to update your product if you haven't already. I have done so. It is version 1.0.2. So to be clear, this is not a massive update. This is kind of a small update, but it has a couple of really cool key things. So I'm gonna show you what those are. The first thing is in um, uh, editing, you can now copy and sync adjustments between photos. So let's say I go into this photo and I do a little bit of, you know, just basic stuff. Uh, uh, this is not an editing tutorial. Uh, let's just say I do these kind of things and I have the photo looking like that. Maybe I want a little bit more Accent AI. Um, I can now go back to the catalog and another photo from that same shoot, uh, which was a different um, uh, image from the set of brackets. So obviously this is my edited one. I can now click and highlight that and I can go to image adjustments. And now you'll see you have sync adjustments. You can copy and paste adjustments. So this is an update. I, I love that. Everybody was asking for that. So I can just click sync adjustments and there we go. Now those adjustments from the first photo have now been applied to the second. Note that the photos look slightly different because they're two different uh, exposure times because this is from a bracket set. But if you're out on a shoot and you've captured something and you want to copy and sync adjustments across a bunch of photos from that, you can now do that quickly and easily in Neo. Now another thing that's new is, I'm going to show you this, is they updated Develop Raw to include 3D Transform. So if you click on Develop Raw, you'll see at the bottom here below Optics, you now have Transform. So this is going to help you with cropping and fixing those verticals. I talked about that in my crop video that we needed that. But if you do the vertical, you can see how I'm straightening up these lines on this cityscape. So anytime, like I shoot in cities a lot, and I also shoot with wide angles, you'll often get these kind of converging lines. This is a great way to adjust those. Um, this horizontal will help you kind of move the photo around like that. And then aspect will adjust the aspect ratio, kind of squish it together or kind of flatten it out. So that's updated as well, which I think is just super cool and very necessary. Again, just incredibly impressive that they're 
you know, dealing with everything that they're dealing with and still were able to get this kind of stuff done. Now you may notice also, one of the things I've noticed is that the sliders are more responsive. So it appears to be even faster than before. Uh, but they've also, here's another thing that uh, is added. And that is um, in the past, we talked about um, having layers functionality and you could not use transparent PNGs but now you can. So I've got a horribly um, bad one here. It's a picture of me, but I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Uh, and you can see this is a transparent PNG file. I'm gonna go ahead and put the opacity at 100. And this was something I used on my first Neo video. But you can see I, I've now got a transparent PNG and I can just slap that on top of my photo, move it around and do all the kind of normal things that I wanna do like blend modes or you know flip flop it, that sort of thing. Um, but transparent PNGs are now supported. So I'm gonna get out of that photo because it's kind of annoying to be looking at me and having also me there and all that sort of stuff. But the point is, the biggest thing and the most important message, of course, is the Skylum team is safe. And uh, I'm, I know you are happy as I am. I'm just overjoyed to, to, to know that and to see that. Um, and then also just these uh, updates, even though they're considering a minor update, it's not even a full dot release. It's not 1.1, .1, it's 1.0.2. So it's, it's considered a minor dot release. And we're getting some major updates in it. I mean, 3D transform is huge. Sync, you know, uh, adjustments is huge. And having this transparent PNG, that's huge. So kudos to the Skylum team. Um, I continue to pray for everybody's safety. As I said, I'll put a link down below if you're interested in contributing to, um, uh, you know, Ukraine's defense. And um, if you want to buy the software, of course, you can do that as well at the link below. But um, thank you for watching. Uh, you know, again, I'm just really glad to hear that the uh, the folks in the Ukraine are, are doing fine and hanging in there. A number of them are out of the country. I'm certain that many of them are not. So the struggle continues, but um, I'm going to do what I can to support them. I know that you are as well. But mostly I wanted to you know, say thank you to the Skylum team. Uh, amazing, incredibly impressive, frankly, that you were able to you know focus on work at a time like this. It's... Um, it's a bit mind boggling, to be honest. Um, and as users, I know you're as grateful and as thankful as I am that they continue to focus on the product. So yes, Skylum is, is fine as a company and they're gonna keep going and the product is gonna keep getting updated. I've had those questions as well. Hope this video has helped as kind of a first look at this new minor update to version 1.0.2. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back soon with more stuff. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Appreciate it. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next video and adios.